Hello world, this is what breakfast around the world is like. So this is what um, most Canadians eat and it's cereal. So this is cereal. So let's eat mega cranberry thing. Harvest plant. So what I usually eat is cereals. And done. Here is Maria from Costa Rica. And she's eating stuff like rice and beans and eggs and she puts it all into a tortilla shell. So kind of like tacos or burritos or something. Yeah. First we have, you got your pinto. Rice and beans mixed together with fried or scrambled eggs. I have here some tortillas, risano sauce. This is a sweet greenish brown salsa. Uh, we can eat this while drinking coffee or juice. There's some people who of course eat bread. And if you're maybe in a hurry, you need to go to work and you have no time, you can just eat a bowl of cereal. Thank you for watching. Bye. Next is Evelyn from Greece. And she has healthy cereal and fruit smoothies. So like some healthy people over here on the west coast of Canada. Hi guys, I'm Evelyn and I'm from Greece. Today I'm going to show you what a Greek breakfast looks like. Well, I have to mention that in Greece there are many different kinds of breakfasts. The most common one would probably be French toast and coffee. Almost everyone drinks coffee in the morning, but I don't drink any coffee. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching! Next is Clyde and his friends from Singapore. And they had lots of different types of food from Chinese food, Malay food and Singaporean food. I'm Clyde, I'm Austin. I'm Nicholas. We are from Singapore, Singapore and this is what breakfast is like where we are from. So basically this is what it's like inside the food centre. There are different stores everywhere, they sell different kinds of food. So people queue up for the food that they want to buy. This is Milo. It's basically, it's like chocolate but not exactly chocolate. It's kaya toast. Basically it's toasted bread and it's like there's kaya and butter. So it's a very traditional meal for Singaporeans. A lot of uh, like elderly, even us, yeah, teenagers, we also have this for breakfast. So carrot cake, as you can see, there's two kinds. There's one with black sauce and one without. So it's not an actual cake, contrary to its name, carrot cake. I got a uh, sweet kueh, which is also uh, it's also a steam cake made of rice flour. I uh, also got a uh, roti prata. We eat it together with uh, curry, tea with uh, condensed milk. And for me, I got mee siam, which is a Malay noodle dish. And in this dish, there's um, thin rice noodles, company with uh, four eggs. And for my drink, I got um, grass jelly, which is a type of black colour. So, uh, our Singaporean food culture is uh, influenced by many of the races that make up our society. Uh, mainly the Indians, the Chinese and the Malay. Next is Mitchell from Australia. And Mitchell had bread and toast. Well, actually that's the same thing. <laughs> um, and cereal. So, very Canadian-like. My name is Mitchell and I live in Melbourne, Australia. I'm 12 years old. And this is what breakfast is like. White bread, or malt we in bed. These are all the spreads that we can have. I know a lot of people say Vegemite is a Australian thing, but I don't really have it that much. And I prefer Nutella a lot more. A selection of cereals. We have plenty of time, and we're not in a rush like the weekdays. We usually have um, a different breakfast, so um, I usually have a croissant. Next is Rona from the Philippines. And Rona had rice and eggs and some cured meat, so it's a bit similar to Japan. Yeah. Tap silog, which means tap for tapa, which is cured meat. Si for sinangag or fried rice. Log, which means itlog or egg. And for the dipping sauce, we have this to balance the sweetness and the acidity. Or for a simpler breakfast with rice, it's called toyo. It's just dried fish grilled. For those people who are on the go, we actually have this. It's called pandesal and we partner it with coffee. Next is Aziz from Kuwait. And Aziz showed us uh, flatbread, dates, 
hummus, whole bunch of stuff I've never eaten for breakfast. People usually have dates with every meal. They usually eat in plain or dipped in a sesame paste called harda. This is called baksam. It's usually dipped in milk or tea. This is called khubzargag. We dip it in labna and satar. This is called mihawa, made by drying and grinding up fish into a liquid. And it's usually eaten with olive oil and bread. Next is Sanjana from India. And she makes aki roti from scratch. So watch and see. You smear oil onto the vessel like this. And you take the dough. And then you pat it onto the vessel. And it should be thin. So you pat the dough onto the vessel. Add a bit more oil. And then cover it up with a plate. At the end of 3 minutes, you have aki roti ready to eat. Akki roti is a rice based breakfast item unique to the state of Karnataka. Akki roti means rice bread in the native language Kannada. The main ingredients used are rice flour and water. Add it with finely chopped onions, chilies, coriander, and cardamom leaves. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. What's breakfast like where you're from?